Thanks a lot. Well, it's good to be here, and uh, I'm having a good time. I'm uh, watching a lot of TV. Do you enjoy watching the TV? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my favorite thing to watch is Star Search. That's my favorite show. Man, that's a good show with Ed McMahon. And uh, you know what's good about that show? You get to see the uh, stars of tomorrow today. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to wait around till tomorrow. So, uh, and I love my favorite part. You know, is when Ed McMahon introduces the uh, junior dancers. You know, when he does that, he always has this like uh, hot property. Bunch of kids come dancing out there. <laughs> Too cute for you! <laughs> and uh, I also like that because they got junior dancers on it too. And you never see junior dancers anywhere else in show business, you know? It's only on that show. You never, what the hell is, you know? <laughs> I mean, you never hang around and go, hey, honey, what do you want to do tonight? Maybe go down to the bar there or catch a movie or something there? Or, uh, hey, I know, I, I heard about this new joint down on uh, 6th Street. They got, uh, they got the uh, five-year-olds dancing. Maybe we could, uh... <laughs> I understand Hot Property's going to be there tonight. We can see them. i never seen them live. I hear they're better live than, than on the TV. They're even better. And that's also a big mistake they make on Star Search. They always name their groups like Hot Property and stuff like that, as if that's going to help them win. You know, what kind of, <laughs> like the bands, it's always like some embarrassing intro, you know. Always like Ed be going, our next group has been kicking around the Miami area for the last 16 years. <laughs> now America, say hello to Overnight Success. <laughs> looks lame if you lose with a name like that, you know? <laughs> you don't look good. <laughs> so now it's time for the judge's decision. Did you ever see the judges on Star Search, too? <laughs> what kind of lame judges are they? You, know, they? you never heard of the guy who always got some uh, sus suspicious credentials there? You never heard? You know? so I was like, now it's time to meet our judges. He is the president of Tri-Media Artists. <laughs> and he represents such stars as Meadowlock Lemon. <laughs> there he is. He's a bald guy with glasses. <laughs> then they cut to a bald guy with glasses. You guys are waving. But uh, no, so you know, you want the good names. You know, you don't want the, the bad. All the guys with the bad names get the winning. You know, the guys with the big goodness. I was like, now it's time for another tough decision for our judges. You know, says that. Another tough decision for our judges. Our challenges. Overnight success. Receive one and a quarter stars. <laughs> but. Uh, and then I like when uh, Ed like brings them over. That's my favorite part. Like when the guy that wins, you know, hand over here, overnight success. Let's pretend they win, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then they run over, you know. And, and then sometimes Ed has some good news for him. That's my favorite part. He'll go, overnight success. Well, it's good to see you there. And how would you like if I told you you're in the semifinals? <laughs> it's all exciting. Okay, hey folks, I'm gonna go over there now. Thanks a lot, huh? Talk to you later. Norm McDonald's here. We were uh, really, uh, we were enjoying your bit, especially over here, your stand-up, because Andy was a judge on Star Search. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Andy is the Andy's the president of TriStar Entertainment. Yeah, yes, that's right. That's the caliber of guy I'm talking uh, about. <laughs> <laughs> each other. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. What do we need more of on TV? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay. How are you? How are you doing Good, on man. update? Great. You're doing it's a great fun. job. Yeah, up to, thanks a lot. Well, I try to, you know, make it funny and stuff and uh... <laughs> And that's your secret. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what you got to do? You got to keep in track of the competition. That's what I find. You know, see what they're doing and try uh -huh. to make it funnier than them. So, like, I brought uh, some jokes I do, and then okay. some jokes that you know you might hear from the competition. You know. Okay. So here's the Al Callings. You know this guy. Yeah. So my joke was Al Callings now has a one nine hundred number. For two ninety nine a minute, Callings will tell callers that OJ is innocent. For three ninety nine dollars a minute, he'll try to do it without laughing. I like that joke. Yeah, well, they don't. <laughs> now, <laughs> compare this with, uh, this was uh, Tom Brokaw's joke. You know, your earlier guest? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was his joke the same night. A.C. Cowlings, the man who drove O.J. Simpson's Bronco as police followed, today came out with his own 1-900 number. NBC's David Bloom has more. <laughs> Not even funny, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's like the lamest... Yeah, no, it's kind of lame. joke I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> now, here's another one here. Twin daughters have been born to Andrew and Carrie Kennedy Cuomo. This one from two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Making former New York Governor Mario Cuomo a grandfather. Mm. The girls were named Pataki and Sucks. <laughs> yeah. So that was my joke. That's your joke. Yeah, That's a good joke. Like. Here we go. Now, here's Brokaw, okay. the guy that they're paying all these millions to. He says, Mario Cuomo is a grandfather today. NBC's Jim Bitterman has more. It's like... It's like almost exactly the same joke as his other one. <laughs> he changed the guy's name, all right. What's he doing? <laughs> what? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you hold on to those, Andy. <laughs> those will come in very handy. I figured it out because I saw his show. You know what the problem is? He's got guys in the background typing. They're typing stories, uh -huh. and he's already doing the news. It's like too late, you know? What the hell is he thinking? Uh -huh. Let him start a half hour earlier and get off a half hour earlier, and you'd have a better, I don't know. All right, well, how are you? I, I see you're in, uh, you're in Billy, uh, what is it, Billy Madison. Oh, yeah, I caught yeah, Adam's yeah, movie yeah. the other day. Yeah, how that was, was that? You're a movie star now. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I'm just in that movie with Adam. <laughs> Well, what's and, it like uh, working on a film? Yeah, it was you know. great. It was great to uh, uh, work with Adam. You know, I uh, I never met him. That was the odd part. In the whole movie, you'd think I'd have a chance to meet the guy. Uh huh. Never, never came up. <laughs> you don't see him around Saturday Night Live at all? No, I never see him. He's not. <laughs> we never cross paths. You know? Uh huh. One Jeez. of those things. People think these guys, these audience people, they think everybody in show business knows everybody. That's right. They're idiots. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <laughs> he didn't mean anyone no, here. No, 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 no. Or no. anyone watching at home. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean anything like that. No, no, no. You guys aren't idiots. You know that. You don't have to have me tell you you're not idiots, for God's sake. <laughs> but you're not. You're not idiots. I got... I... <laughs> Got you out of that hole, fine. <laughs> you went back. <laughs> that one guy is an idiot over there. <laughs> I swear that to God. That guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we've but had most, problems most with him. Most. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Who's on Saturday Night Live this week? What, it's, it's George Clooney and the Cranberries, is that right? Yes. That's what it says on this card. So. George Clooney and the Cranberries. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a fun show to watch. Yeah. Try some Brocon material when you're out there. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be looking forward to <laughs> okay, it. Okay, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming nice by, Norm. Norm McDonald, everybody.